big, you know, a lot of guys stepped up tonight. It's just an awesome game. Yeah, I just thought our guys out teamed them, which is awesome. I thought Eric Ritchie did what he was supposed to do. Danny got us out of that one inning. I thought Norby was awesome. Um, and I thought Aaron Groller, man, was fantastic. Guys had arm soreness those two innings on Saturday and then flips around and close it out, you know, for us tonight. And I mean, I think that's one of the best offenses in the country. So uh, I'm just super proud of our guys and our offense was relentless to be able to put up 10 runs. What was it like seeing Jacob Starling come out and perform the way he did after such a long injury? <laughs> well, you know, yesterday at practice, I knew he was chomping at the bit, and I just wanted to make sure he was okay to go without re-injuring himself because the injury has, if he re-injures it, he's going to miss probably a month. And you could see he was getting fatigued there at the end of the game just the way he was running, so we had to pinch run for him late. But I couldn't be happier for Star. I mean, for, to be a senior, to have to miss basically three weeks of the season in the middle of it, uh, it's not fun. And, he just showed up every day and just rehabbed his tail off with Logan Rupp now and Kevin Youngs. And um, so hopefully we can get him recovered before Friday. It's been 14 years since somebody hit for the cycle here. So pretty. I didn't even know it until Coach O. So, yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, uh, bad, bad on my part that I didn't know he hit for the cycle. So, uh, but it's awesome. It couldn't happen to a better guy. What does it say about him? His first at bat back that he's able to just get a piece, you know, get a piece of a good pitch there. Well, Starling's a good hitter. It's probably helped him to be injured a little bit, and uh, I think he was pressing. You know, we talked about that early in the season, and a lot of times when you're injured, you just slow yourself down just a little bit. You see the ball better and use the whole field. And uh, of course, he was just special tonight. And Starling's one of the best hitters in the country when he's dialed in. Obviously, you know, they had some big swings there. Whatever it was, the four spot. You guys just bounced right back. Though. That did you think we weren't going to respond? Yeah, I go, you know, we're down seven runs uh, on Saturday. So, no, nah, I mean, it's just no panic in those guys. And, you know, I'm just so proud, you know, both games that we've played NC State, it's been about us. It hadn't been about anything else. And they just want to win for the purple and gold. And, and that's the thing I'm most proud of the our team. The largest crowd in Clark and Clare history. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that too. It's, a, it's an honor to be able to coach at your alma mater and uh, have 6,000 plus here on a Tuesday night. I told Coach O this. And, uh, there was one place tonight that had 6,000 plus. It was Greenville, North Carolina, which is pretty special. You get 32 wins in your first 40. I mean, there's got to be some intangibles like that you're talking about too, right? Just being able to bounce back and answer some runs. Sure. Yeah, I mean, look, we've won a lot of games this year when we have not played great, which um, that's a unique quality of a team, which is not fun to coach when you're not playing great. But, you know, we've played better baseball for the last couple of weeks, and, and that's been super fun to watch. He was not available tonight, so uh, um, we weren't going to use him no matter what. I mean, it's uh, Shink has got a great career in front of him, so that's the thing I would tell you. I mean, he probably would have if uh, we'd have let him, but we just wouldn't let him get warm. It was a win, but is this just a little bit sweeter that it's NC State? Um, I, I'm just glad our guys played well. I, I don't mean that. Look, uh, I played here for a long time and uh, coached here, and I just want our guys to continue to get better and focus on ourselves. And uh, Coach Avent is uh, gracious enough to play us. You know, there's other sports uh, that uh, don't play us, so uh, I'm glad that they'll play us uh, home and home each year. With Norby being kind of stretched out too, is he just a case where you can kind of run him out there and if he's going good, you can just kind of let him keep going? Yeah, I mean, he's a starter too. He's a Swiss Army knife, and, and that's the unique thing about our pitching staff. We had a couple guys like that, Jake Hunter, him. Um, you know, Danny could start if we were in a pinch. So um, just different uh, guys that can do different things for us. Groller, I mean, big spot for him late. No fear when the two guys got on it with some of their guys coming up. I mean, I thought probably the biggest at bat of the night. I mean, I don't know if you guys look at splits, but Pennington hits like 900 or something against left-handed pitching for him to be able to strike that guy out. That was a crucial moment. Um, and then Groller's really tough on left-handers, and they had a lot of left-handers in there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.